everyone uh, was a par at least partial participant, yes. What are the status of Denny and Both questionable at this point. Um, we'll see tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that everybody is healthy, how do you kind of go about um, addressing the concerns that you guys have talked about? Things like transition defense, kind of long-standing things that you guys have tried to fix. Well, I mean, those things are, you know, hopefully they won't haunt us all season, but there are going to be things we're going to have to revisit, you know, from time to time. It's You'll see slippage from here to – and a lot of teams, you know, that's a strength of them. So just to have that mindset going in, knowing that you know, an opponent plays that way. But in general, you hope to minimize your mistakes as you mount games. You get, now we're into the meat of the season, so we shouldn't see slippage in some of those areas. How can, how can DeLon help your defense and in the areas that you need help in? Well, we know we've talked about it at length. His ability to contain one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and hopefully that helps minimize some of the points in the paint. Um, he's got great size, hand activity, um, so maybe that helps on the defensive boards, you know. So he's shown, uh, you know, he, he leans in on that side of the ball, and he's done a pretty good job in a short sample, of course. But um, he's a high-level defender, so I think anytime you can get another guy out there who really embraces, you know, the defensive side, it's going to help you. And Rui back, do you feel like things are going to, the tenor might change on defense, or how, how will that affect you guys? I mean, I hope. I mean, I think once again, you get another guy who, you know, leans into de defending. I think it's, it's going to help, no doubt. You know, Rui gives us positional size at the four. Um, it should help us rebound. You know, the physicality piece, um, I think, will we'll be there. But um, it, it's all hands on deck. You know, we got enough bodies, you know, as we get healthy. Um, whatever that moment, whatever the game needs, I think we'll, we'll go to. How do you balance continuing to bring Jordan along with DeLon obviously being back and working his way back in? Yeah, I mean, it's not easy, but, you know, once again, it's, you know, DeLon, I think, has shown um, he's got the ability, you know, to even start in this league. And, you know, he's uh, obviously coming off the bench for us, um, and he's done a really good job. Jay Good has made the most of his minutes, and, you know, with any guys, uh, if they're not playing uh, a lot of minutes, you, yeah, you got to still work on your craft. You got to be ready. Keep yourself in shape. And when your number's called, you know you got to go out and produce. Do you expect to have him play more in the go-go then, and just uh, potentially. But you know, I, right now I think we'll just we'll see how this stretch goes. Um, obviously, the density of games is another issue, and we don't want to tax our guys too much. But um, you can't play you know 11, 12 guys. So that's just the nature of it. I don't know when was the last time we had like a good like practice like this where everybody was practicing. You know. Then he's still working his way back, but but uh, yeah, no, it was competitive today. Um, we're gonna see some new stuff going forward with our lineup and stuff. So uh, today we kind of tried out some things and, and I think we're looking pretty good. How's your hands? Uh, yeah, my uh, thumb. I don't know. Last game, I guess I just came in this morning, started shooting, and I felt like my thumb was like a little bit out of place or something. So just taped it just to secure it a bit more, but it shouldn't be anything major. What changes for you guys now, especially that Rui and DeLon are back? Uh, we just have, you know, more more firepower. You saw last game, Rui came in, gave us, you know, spark off the bench. I don't know what he scored, 14, 16 points. Um, DeLon, DeLon is DeLon getting steals, like working on defense like crazy. And, and, and that was his first game back after two months out, you know, and he still, and he looked good for his first game back. So. Uh, I can't wait until he gets in a rhythm too, and everybody just kind of, we, we're all like, um, everybody has their role and, and, and they feel good in their role and we can just start winning games and then everybody's going to feel like they're, they're valued. You're averaging a career high in free throw attempts. What do you attribute that to? Um, I think I'm back to posting up more, you know, I'm being effective there. And uh, yeah, that's one thing. Um, you know, I'm, I think I'm just getting better at drawing fouls, you know. I know it's not the prettiest thing to see on a basketball court, but but it's effective. It's the most effective shot you can get to, you know. So I try to get fouled as much as I can. And, um, and, and yeah, I think it's with experience, I just see those situations. I know how to sell the foul a bit better. I know how to put myself in those situations. And, and I think that's what it is. The increase really started, like, as soon as you got here. Like, uh, you know, as soon as you got here, like, you know, you saw it go up toward the end of last season. Is there something different about how they utilize you, or you know, has that been an emphasis from the coaching staff as soon as you got here? No, uh, yeah, of course. The coaches love 
you know, when, when you can get to the free throw line because, it's, as I said, it's one point, you know, six points per possession or I don't know, depending on what percentage you shoot. Um, so it's one of the most effective things you can do on offense. And, um, and uh, not that it's like an emphasis, but like, for example, I started the season, I wasn't getting to the line as much. And, uh, and then I kind of figure out ways how I can get there more and just start being more aggressive, got in a better rhythm and, and been getting get to the line pretty, pretty uh, uh, consistently lately on. So uh, and I want to keep, keep doing that. You know, I think it's going to give us a good chance of you know, being, being more effective. It was cool to, get to, uh, to go back and see uh, my college play, um, see some of the staff that I used to work with. So it was, it was good to you know, see them again and, you know, and catch a game. Obviously, you're, you're playing uh, lower minutes right now as you ramp up, but what do you feel like just coming back you can impact immediately for, for these guys? Um, Playmaking, uh, the defense, all the little things I try to do to help the team win. Um, just bring some energy some type of way and, you know, just figure out what the, what the game needs at that point. With you and Rui back in the defense, what does that change? Just having two kind of more defensive-minded guys, considering you guys have been trying to kind of fix transition D, things like that. I mean, um, you know, Rui's come back playing well, which is, you know, good to see. Um, and I'm just trying to, you know, work myself back into to the lineup and, you know, into the rotation. So I think we're both just trying to bring uh, bring a spark back to the team. Uh, you know, we dropped a couple games with a lot of us being injured, and we're just trying to somewhat make that up. I think even before all the injuries, the bench was kind of struggling just with people going in and out, with people not knowing minutes. What did you see when you were on the sidelines watching from the second unit? Um. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of guys in and out, so, you know, their lineups have been different. It's hard to kind of get a chemistry with guys being in and out. Some of the guys going to start lineup and, you know, other guys filling in. It's just, it's hard to get a rhythm, so uh, just, they just need, we need some stability, I guess you can say. So uh, I feel like with, like, with guys getting uh, healthy, that's going to help us. How long does it take for you to get your rhythm back after missing two months worth of games? I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Um, obviously, I still don't, I don't feel like I'm in a rhythm now. And just, uh, my conditioning is not good. So once my conditioning gets up to where it needs to be, I feel like I'll start to get in a better rhythm. And when, we're, when we talk about rhythm, I, I think mostly about shooting mechanics. But does, does that also apply to more aspects of the game? Like uh, ball handling, delivering passes on time, on target, knowing, you know, having a feel defensively for how guys are going to attack. Yeah, I mean, you never know what, what type of rhythm you're going to be in when you come back. You just hope that it's somewhat good. So for me, I feel like the defense is uh, going to, my defense is going to be ahead of my offense. Um, but, you know, offensively, I just have to keep working and, you know, just try to find ways to get good shots and help the team get good shots. I remember correctly, you got a deflection within a minute and a half of being in that game. How good did that feel to, to, to impact the game that quickly? Uh, I mean, it's something I've, I've always going to do. Um, so I guess it does feel good to just get, you know, how that feeling back. Um, but, yeah. You know, as my you know conditioning and rhythm gets back, I feel like I'll see more of that, and I just you know get more comfortable with doing that.